and tell me what it is that you see in front of you. A white dress. Mm -hmm. Step forward to them and I want you to step so close that you can feel their vibration and tell me how do you feel when you're next to that person? Don't feel safe. You don't feel safe? Well step back and I want you now to telepathically communicate with that person and ask them why they are there. What do they say? So we need to trust them. Uh huh. Follow them. Pardon? We need to follow them. Mm hmm. Ask them where they came from. Are they part of your group? Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. So what I want you to do now is I want you to connect with this lady in this white dress and allow her to take you back to your soul group where we can find out more information. So as you go now, getting lighter and lighter as you go up and up and up and up and up and up and up, drifting and floating up, feel yourself floating as you're getting nearer and nearer to your group, which could be inside or outside, getting closer and closer till you're there now. And describe to me, where has this person taken you? In the middle of a field. A field? Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you're on your own or do you feel that there are other souls around? Loads of people here. Mm -hmm. Well, I want you to connect with the energy of those people because you'll be able to telepathically communicate with those people and what's the purpose of all you souls being in that field so that they're here to help me uh-huh so what is it they do with you there They're surrounding you. Mm -hmm. Do you feel an energy that's coming from them? How does that energy feel? It was warm. Mm -hmm. Warm energy. So is this where they're, they're actually re-energising you from your journey? Ask them. Is this a healing place? It's a safe place. Mm -hmm. And as you look around that place, with all those souls around you there, I want you to just glance your eye across these souls and describe what these souls look like to me. Faces. Mm hmm. They're like white, misty, like outlines. Very good. And as you're looking around at those people, as I talk, there might be one of those souls that you're more connected to than the rest. 
And as I continue to talk and you look around, see if there's one that you're more connected to the, than the rest. And ask them if there's a message for you. What do they say? Going to be okay. Going to be okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now we've got that message. What I want you to do now is bid them farewell and thank them for sharing that time with you. But I'd like very much now to close that scene so that we can go forward. And I want to be able to connect with your inner self, your subconscious mind. So I'd like you to take a nice deep breath in now. And as you breathe in, I want you to step away with your conscious mind from your body and allow your inner self to come forward. And do you feel that your inner self is a male or female energy? Male. Male. Mm-hmm. Does that energy have a name? What can we call him today? Him. Him. Mm -hmm. M. 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 Mm -hmm. Ask him how lot. How many lives has he worked with you? Six. Six. So, what is it that you're working together on then? That's taking six lifetimes. Love. Love. Mm -hmm. Can I ask, how's she doing with that? It's working on love. Is she getting there? Mm -hmm. what was the purpose of her being betrayed with all that jealousy and being pushed off the cliff then in that previous life to do with learning to love myself Learning to love yourself. Mm -hmm. Not to blame myself. Not to blame yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what I want you to do now is I want you to do a body scan of this body now. From the top all the way down to the feet. So just as if this was a body of light and I want you to be able to sense all the different vibrations in energy in her body so that you can tell me if there's anywhere in her body we can work on. So start at the top of the head now, just as if you've got x-ray vision. And see a beam of light going down from the top of the head, down the head and the jaw and the neck down the shoulders and the torso and past the heart into the tummy area all across those hips and thighs and down the knees all the way to the ankles to the tips of the toes and I want you to scan back up as well to just double check and tell me is there anywhere in the body that we can work on today or is she looking okay The stomach. Mm -hmm. Well, M, what I want you to do now is I want you to go down into the stomach area and I want you to go to the parts that function for the stomach area. And as you're there now in that scene, you're going to be able to connect with the energy around you and tell me, how does it feel around there in the stomach area? Sick. Mm -hmm. I want you to go even further now 
I want you to follow that feeling of her being sick. And I want you to follow it right to the cause, the root cause of why it is that she's feeling so sick. So see yourself following that thread of that energy all the way to the root cause and tell me what's causing this sickness. Worry. Mm -hmm. So what is it that she's worrying about? Is there anything in particular? She's worried about dying. About dying? Mm -hmm. So what message have you got to tell her about dying then? So, M, what I want you to do is I want you to go to that part where that memory is stored. See yourself going in there now. That's right. And I'm going to call on Archangel Raphael, who heals you emotionally, physically and spiritually from pain. And I'd like him to go in there with M now. To unlock the doors there, to draw out all that memory. And I want him to replace it with a wonderful green energy of self love and encouragement and healing. See him holding that old memory that he's going to take away, and see him placing in you now. That wonderful, vibrant, spiritual green energy. Just like a crystal, like an emerald. And see him activating that in your tummy area now. And how your whole muscles and fibres begin to heal. And align with each other. And allow Archangel Raphael now to take that memory up to the spirit realm and to the light. Thank you. So we've done the stomach area. Is there anywhere else in the body that we can work on? Or do we get to the questions? So the body's fine. The body's fine. Well, Em, I want to ask you, what was going on in her 20s that caused that insomnia? person she was with. Was it not a good match? It wasn't a good person. Not a good person. Mm -hmm. And is she free from that now? Yes. Mm -hmm. And what are these cycles of relationships that she goes through? Is she sabotaging any of these relationships? Yes. Mm -hmm. And what is the purpose of going through these relationships? What is it that she's supposed to be learning? All men aren't like her dad. All men aren't like her dad. Mm -hmm. Where does she hold that memory in her mind or her body? It's in her throat. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to call on Archangel Serial now to come down and work with you, Em, as you go into that throat area and start gathering all that memory. See yourself pulling out all those roots and cords 
of that memory, just like you're pulling the weeds out of a garden. And I ask that Archangel Cereal helps you now, gathering up all that memory that no longer serves, because it's time for that to go back to the light to be healed. And I want you to pass it to Archangel Cereal now, so that she can beam it up to the light. And now that that is complete, I want her now to focus on your throat area, beaming the light of source now into that area, creating the feeling of love and the power of forgiveness and forgiveness of herself, for she's learnt those lessons to allow her to feel love and compassion and acceptance. And I want Archangel Cyril now to open your heart so that you can heal and enhance your relationship. Feeling working now on your throat area or in your heart area. Feel your throat chakra and your heart chakra now. See them glowing and connecting and communicating until they're completely balanced. Thank you. And can I ask about her guides? Does she have any guides? And if so, how many? Sure. Two guides. What's the purpose of these guides? What's the difference between the two of them? Mm-hmm. And what about the other one? What's for the fire? Is that fire? Fire? Mm -hmm. Ask those guides there. Why do you need fire? Why is the fire energy with you? Passion. Mm -hmm. So I want you to ask that fire energy to provide you a message for today about her relationships. How does she go forward with the energy of the passion? Following her heart. Following her heart. Mm -hmm. The situation, Not yeah? Not her head. Not her head. Mm -hmm. Follow the heart, not her head. Mm -hmm. Ask this energy of passion, is this a good match? Yes. Thank you. And I want to connect with her dreams. She says she has dreams sometimes. What are these in relation to? Is she tidying up her mind or are, are they in relation to other things? She's worried. Worried? What things is she worried about? Relationship. 
relationships. Mm -hmm. She's worried about relationships, but she's just been given the message from her guides that she needs to follow her heart and there is a good match. So is this about trust? Mm -hmm. Well, I'd like Goddess Isis to come forward now. And I want her to begin to just beam her energy inside of your body now into your mind to find those roots and memories that are strong and deep and are anchored in your psyche. And I want her to channel into those memories and begin to clear away all those past life issues that hindered your progress and prevented you from attaining your full potential. See her now, just throwing that beam of light in there now, lifting those memories out. Very good. And I'd like her now to pour in the colour yellow, the symbol of the sun, the crystal of citrine and abundance. And see her now just pouring in the liquid energy from spirit of that beautiful golden colour. See it just pouring into her mind now soaking into every cell and fibre of her body, healing her mind, allowing for her to forgive herself, aligning the body and resting the soul. Thank you. I'd like to ask a question about her dogs, Halo and Minnie. Why are they with her? Keep her safe. To keep her safe. Have they been with her in other lifetimes? Yes. Mm-hmm. So if she was in a position where she wasn't safe, how would they give that message to her? How would they behave? She would know. She would know, thank you. And I want to ask a question about spiders. So as you connect with that image there. What is it about spiders? Is it a memory from this life or from another life? I was bitten by a spider. You were bitten by a spider? Mm -hmm. Take me to the time that you were bitten by a spider. Just see yourself fast tracking now down your timeline. See yourself drifting and floating down to that very scene. And tell me, were you male or female then? Female. You were female. Yeah, huh? How old were you? Ten. You were ten? And was that in this life? Or is it another life? In the jungle. You're in the jungle? Mm hmm What kind of jungle is it? Is it the Amazon? Is it in America? Is it in Australia? Whereabouts did you have that life? Mm -hmm. 
trees everywhere. And so where does she hold that memory in her body then about being bitten by a spider? She was bitten on her leg. Well, I want Archangel Michael to come down and work with me now with his blue sword of light on that blue colour ray and with his empathic healing. And I want him now to shine that light onto that leg area, right to the very spot where that spider bit you in that past life. And see him now forcing his beam of light there, completely obliterating that memory that no longer serves. See him removing that memory now, striking through all the cords of that negativity. And as he continues now, see the sword of light turn into a beautiful liquid blue an ocean, tropical ocean blue, almost like a hose, and feel him pouring all that spiritual protection into your leg. And as that soaks into your leg, he removes all the fear-based energy and negativity of your thinking. Thank you. Now we've got the fear of being pushed. That was from a previous life. So tell me what was going on when she was 15 years old. Go back to that time when she was 15 years old. Feel those emotions. And tell me what was happening. Mm -hmm. Where was this stress from? From my mind. From your mind? Uh huh. Um, I want you to give me an answer to this. This stress and tension from her mind, is it serving her any good? So what is she to do if the same situation was to arise again where she would get anxious or stressful about any situation? She needs to breathe. To breathe. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And I'd like to ask a question during my client's sleep state. Um, does she astral travel? Yes. Mm -hmm. Where does she travel to? A different world. A different world? Is it just one different world or many worlds? One. And what does she go there for, Em? Does she take things or does she bring things back? What's the purpose? To escape. To escape? Mm-hmm. And so it's like a little vacation for her. And now we've come to the end of our session. Um, is there anything that I ought to have asked or should have asked before we close this session? Just take a look at her body and tell me how.